All right, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Morpha Project. So today, uh, today I was actually figuring out if I would be able to make it for the day, but uh, it seems like I ha I can. So, uh, uh, no further ado. Uh, today we're gonna be drawing rocks again, and hopefully we can fill this body up, and then uh, we can move to the next part right over there. So uh, yeah, um, no further ado. Let's get started, shall we? So, the main problem that I came across when I was doing this, uh, as you can see, there are some issues here, here and there, that need to be solved. Um, most likely, it is the rock problem. Ah, yes, that is indeed a problem there. That's the rock drawing, and that's supposed then to be the color. Alright. So, I need to. Do this carefully, making sure that I have this full control. Alright. Now I can continue. Um, so yeah, we are going to be drawing these rocks and making sure that these rocks are, you know, fully capable of being drawn. Of course, we also need to have the sketch so that we can see where the hell we need to draw the rocks and how to draw the rocks. So that's indeed a thing. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So, um, I want to make sure that I have the right tool equipped here. As you probably already mentioned, I have been busy. Uh, well, this, this fixes a lot. I have been busy. Uh, the uh, drawing before this, I actually was busy for today. Um, I'm almost done with that one. It's always nice to be almost done with something. There you go. Don't want to have any. So the main issue that we're going to be probably facing is like, how are we going to install this rock right here? So I probably want this rock to be like this and then put it downwards. But I could also go for a second rock here. But then I have like this rock over there that makes no sense. Um. Yes. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. If I have a rock like that, and I have a rock right here, and I'm not supposed to go for a rock right there, because if I go for a rock right there, that doesn't work. I can put a boulder here, so I can put a boulder right here, like for instance, right over there. I can put a boulder down, and then make this boulder balance on top of this rock right. There. Yes. Awesome. So now I need to make sure that I have the boulder correctly placed. So the boulder is going to be placed like this. Now it's balanced on top of the rock itself. Now the only thing I need to do is to add some more rock like uh, shape to it. All right, now we can continue. So yeah, um, I didn't know that I maybe I didn't know if I had enough time to do uh, the drawing today, so that's why I did not put it on. Uh, but the good news is that uh, uh, yesterday I actually went with the city train again, so I went with the train and uh, went back home. So uh, I actually learned how to do the train again, so that's great. It was still the same as normal, you know, getting very uh, tired when using the train. So I was like, "Ugh, man, this drains me from energy at all, at all things." Because you know, I'm not a very social person, and when the train is full, and well, you know, you have all these people talking, and uh, well, you know, you're gonna get exhausted because of all the people talking. So yeah, I uh, I successfully. Um, I successfully uh, did the uh, uh, did the route that I needed to do. I uh, went home and I was successfully back home afterwards. And I realized, like, well, you know, if I wanted, if I need to do this every week, and yes, of every day, then yes, I would be able to do that because I already did it once before. But still, it is a very hard thing to do because you know you're probably gonna be tired as you arrive at your destination. 
and then you need like one hour or something to catch up. Like, ugh. It takes a lot of time for me to make sure that I am, you know, on the place where I want to go. Anyhow. Uh, so, um, yeah. I'm very happy upon, um, I'm very happy upon how much I, uh, did yesterday. And what I succeeded at it. Of course, you know, it was a little bit terrifying to, uh, be going back with the train again. But, uh. Yeah, I had to I had to learn it because you know for the sake of my own sanity it's important that I will be able to do uh use transport uh transport systems uh, really well. So I actually did that. But yeah, that's a, that's an achievement for my books at least. Probably not an achievement in most people's book, but uh, it is an achievement in my books. So I'm almost done with by the way one of the drawings that I'm busy with doing, so I only need then two more. I believe, and then I can show it all off in a, in a, how do you say, in a program, and then, you know, I can record it and then uh, put it into, uh, put it into a video to show people what, what I mean. So that's, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. Anyhow. Um, so what more to say? Well, I also did a D&D session yesterday. It went actually pretty well. I, the first time I actually played a very terrible uh, optimized um, sorcerer. So it was not any DPS whatsoever, no uh, damage potential whatsoever, and still I kind of survived. Well, technically I survived with no scratch whatsoever almost. Like, I lost only 2 HP. But that was because I put a very nasty combination down. I made sure that uh, people were not able to hit me properly. <laughs> so yeah, um, I did that. And um, it worked, you know, helping the team out. Uh, well, most likely I had to use most of my spells to save my own sorry ass because one of the teammates got uh, possessed and, uh, well, you know, it turned on, they turned on me. And then, you know, you need to make sure that those teammates are not harmful for the party, so I made sure that, you know, every single thing I did was in the benefit of myself and in the benefit of our party. So I lured the threat away and, uh, you know, made sure that it calmed down. But that took most likely almost six or eight rounds. The good news was that, the, that, that you know, no, no party member has been hurt by it, but... Uh, I could not say that from the gods. <laughs> I did a great job at uh, making sure that the biggest threat is gone, but uh, the gods were not very uh, like uh, were not very good at uh, defeating the other things that were on the battlefield. But for the rest, we we succeeded. We did not got any. We did not get any fine. We did not get any fines. My character took fully responsibility of the accident that happened, and uh, you know we did not get any we didn't get any more blames on our sorry ass. So uh, I would say that's a great success. Not getting uh, getting your ass lectured by like, hey, you're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do that. You, how dare you let this happen? You know that kind of thing. So uh, you know an accident happened. We we solved the accident by self by not retreating or anything else. Like that, and uh, eliminating the traps we also did. So, anyhow, that's uh, what we did yesterday, and uh, afterwards we uh, we went uh, we went to buy some fries and uh, have some nice little food. But uh, yeah, the uh, amount of stuff that happened, whoa, it might not be a lot, but it was still very hefty on the. On the part of like, oh my god, um, this is bad. So um, we solved it and we fixed it. Um, anyhow, so uh, yeah, Whew, I got really, I was really tired when I went in the train. That's for sure. The main issue is because of my intentions that uh, my I like to pick up every conversation there is and when you have like a big giant train and you have like a lot of people and those people talk then well you know you are gonna get probably some information that you don't want to listen to and you're like oh my god this is information I want to listen to it 
that's my main issue. Like, I like to listen to it, make sure that I store it for something, I don't know when. But yeah, the uh, amount of stuff uh, made me tired, and then when I tried to read a book, I almost fell asleep. Which is a bad idea because you know you need to make sure that you're off the st you need to make sure that you're on on the right station when you're going off. Oh well. Ah, uh, still a thing that happens, you know. You you waking up at another station like what the hell just happened, and then everybody is like, oh, mm. well this happened. Luckily, you know, I got off on, at the right time, made sure that I I realized that some uh, I realized like. Uh, technically, uh, if I want to make sure that I have the, uh, if I want to make sure that I have the, um, how do you say, the right trains for the location, the destination I need to go to, most likely, I should follow, definitely follow the, um, um, I should definitely use the intercity line, because technically that works. Technically, the intercity line works pretty well. I didn't know, but. Uh, it looks like it works, so uh, next time I can just use the intercity line uh, from point A to point B and then you know use the bike to get to the intercity station. Which uh, I was more afraid of like, oh my god, I need to go that way, or I could go this way. Ah, well, you know, and then I always need to figure out like which one is the cheapest route to go to. Alright, well, now it's time for me to get another. Lovely coloring book done. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, we're gonna be doing some coloring again on the rocks. I mean, obviously this is like you know the most hardest part of of it all because you know it's rocks and you want to make sure that you have the right amount of color done on each part of the rocks. But yeah, um. As you can see, all of this is done quite easily, quite nice, quite, um, quite, uh, how do you say, quite gentle. You know, you just you just want to make sure that all these rocks are, you know, in the right color, in the right color scheme, and then from there on, you know, you can still add it more of it so like you know you want to add some light to it you want to add some darker colors to it you, you can do that no biggie no biggie at all it's just a real hard thing to do you know it's um rocks are my uh, hardest thing to get right sometimes because you know you want to make sure that you have the texture properly done all right So yeah, now we can just casually move around here. Seems that I'm having um, grease on the tablet. Ugh, need to get some more. Need to get a uh, need to get a grease cleaner or something like that for the tablet itself. Oh well, probably will find it easily. Window cleaning system so that it doesn't uh, destroy the. Uh, so I need to find a laptop cleaning um, product because you know you don't want to uh, destroy the um, screen of the tablet itself. You just want to destroy the uh, grease that's on it. It is not a problem, but you know you can feel it in the. You can feel it in the. Uh, pencil itself once it's sitting. So yeah, this is a lot of um this is a lot of work and uh you know we're still working on the Malfa project, definitely. But sometimes you know the Malfa project can be a real pain in the ass because sometimes it does what it wants to do. And that is screw you over. Of course, rest assured the the screwing does not happen all the time. No, it's it's a it's a mediocre thing that happens.
Hmm, interesting. So now I need to actually make sure that I have the the rock properly done, properly set up, yes. Now I need to grab the other one, this one right here, and I like it. Alright. Uh, some level of blurring right in there, you know, just keeping up the hard work. It's important that we are, you know, busy with doing whatever we can to keep the drawing properly fixed and making sure that, you know, the uh, rocks are properly done. So. Of course, you know, sometimes it might not look like, you know, we're doing a lot of work here and there, but it, uh, it is surely a hard thing to do. That's all I that. Now the question is, why is this standing up there? I should definitely use this one then instead if I'm using the dark scheme. It's quite nice how uh, everything works out in the end anyway. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to predict where you know everything is going, but shouldn't keep everything done. Yeah, that's more like it. But yeah, the, the these rocks, you know, these these rocks are, you know, not all, all the time they are the same. Depends on where you go, where you look at the rocks, you know. And I want to make sure that that is a thing that can be can be can be appreciated. It's just rocks anyway. I have no idea what I just said there, but probably something at least, because I'm still thinking upon how the how the hell I'm gonna be doing pulling this off and why this spot right here is not dark. And let me just take a look at this. Ah, I see. So it has been... Huh. So if I add now some... There you go. Fixed it. Alright. Now you can see that this is all, you know, adding up. And the more you add, the better it gets, you know. So these rocks are correctly placed, right? Yeah, they are yeah, correctly placed. It's just that the grass sometimes is not fully done properly, so I need to add some more grass problems to it. We'll fix that. Um, of 
course, you know, we want to make sure that we have everything colored in, but... Uh, uh, mm, mm. Do I want that? No, I don't want to have everything colored in like a bastard brown. Um, dip, 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 do, 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 think, think, backgrounds, backgrounds, um, we could do that, that is possible, um, let's take a look, alright, so the background, where did that pool, where was that pool, not there, Hmm. So where did I pull in the background? That's a question. Background, background. Background is lost, right? Yes, lost. And I'm gonna be using this background again to make sure that I have everything under control. So I'm gonna fill up the parts that we do need. That we left behind. Like this. Now the question, if we're gonna go for that, if we're gonna go for a pure dark, would that not create less, more problems? That's the question. That's the question like, do we want this? Do we want that many gaps? Probably not. No, we don't want that many gaps, but we do want to have some gaps, but not that many. Mm, all right, all right. So we have already a we already have now a solution to our problem. Might not look like a solution, but it is a solution nonetheless because we want to make sure that those rocks are going to be good representations. Yes. Uh, so then this is the grass. Yes. So we want more stuff here. But what can we put here that makes it more looking looking like a true rocky place with some, you know, with some more stuff in it? That's the most idea. Like, what what can we place here that makes things look different? More rocks is always an answer, but uh, we do want to make this thing feel. We do want to make this place a little bit more special. That's for sure. We're only 20 minutes in, so... Tink. Yes, Tink. What can I put here that makes it more better? I have rocks. I have grass. And I should be able to put more grass right here. But that doesn't make any sense because there is no grass right there. So from get from point A to point B, we want to have something here that transitions to the grass or to the rocks. But the grass is technically on the rock, which is like a big giant brick right here. So this part should then be rock. But how should the rock then be following up? So we could technically go for like another rock right here. Yeah, that, that, that would work, that would work. Putting another rock right here would work. But then how about there? Well we could lower the we could make the gap less gappy. I think that's a thing that we can do. So we could put put some more rocks down. That is the good idea here. And we're gonna make sure that the gap of black is less black, more rocky. Oh well. Anyhow, um so let's get started on this bad boy then. So we want more things. You want more rock. Mm. 
one more rock, and that means that we need to go to the place that we find the rock in. Where did I put it? That's always the question. Yes. So which is the rock problem? This. Alright. So then this is gonna be the rock problem, so we're gonna put this into gray. Alright, we're gonna put it into gray so that we can see stuff when we draw. That way when we are drawing, things are not gonna be looking like what the hell did we do? Alright. That's a question. Do I want it like oh we want this back? And that's the question, do we want it like this? So we have another rock right there and another rock right there, so yes. We should definitely go for that. But then this should be like so. So now the rock now needs to be now needs to be more looking like you know a rock problem. So we have a rock right here. We could have a rock right there, and it needs to be like stabling upwards. So it should then then be right from here to there. So the rock should be then like like so. Yes, yes, awesome. All right. And then this rock should then not be like that. This rock should then be like this. And then go down. Yes. Alright. That's more like it. And now we can finally start on this rock drawing. So the main idea here, the main the main problem that we faced was that we did not find the right way to get from point A to point B. Now are we now are we now we are working towards it. The main issue is that the dark that the pure blackness is a very bad idea. So most likely I'm gonna be fixing that by less putting less pure black in it and more you know more colors into it into the background screen. That way it won't stand out too much and therefore you know it will be looking far more better than than the drawing it had before. All right. Alright. How lovely. This is actually looking like a good rock. Of course this one is like not like the other rocks here. This rock is more uh rocky. That's why it is behind this wall. And that's why I'm putting it like that. Because th these rocks need to be a little bit more rough on the edge. I not have that these days. Alright, uh, boo doo 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 doo. And now we can start finding out where we want to put the last part. That is right here. Well, we want to make sure that this gap is a little bit more closed. So we should definitely put a more, another rock right there. And then I even think like, yeah, one more rock right here. So. It is a rock on top of another rock. 
So we have two rocks here so that we have the gap a little bit more close and then we can add some more lighting towards it. We can even fill it up like, I don't know, with grass or something. Maybe some grass right here, so... And then, you know, put the rock downwards. Mm. That's a good idea. Alright. And this is how you do it. This is how you fill up a gap that, you know, needs to be filled up anyway. You don't want to be stuck into the same gap every single time you look at it like, Oh my god, this is a gap! And it's like, no, you don't want that. You want to look at the beautiful picture right there that is on top of it. <sighs> ah. Hey. But yeah, um, I have been a little bit mentally tired out because of all the stuff I had to do, all the stuff I had to fix, all the stuff I had to work with, and uh, you know, that takes a lot of mental mental capabilities of, you know, away from doing stuff. Like drawing. Of course, you know, I just want to make sure that I have this drawing done for today, and then hopefully tomorrow we will, we will be able to do it again. That is most likely the case of, you know, my hope. Of course, you know, that hope can also be torn to pieces if, you know, things go from A to B. And you don't want to have A and B in one go, sometimes. Anyway. Now we can see like where and how this is going to be going. So we have another rock done. And the funny thing is actually, we can actually add some more detail to these rocks because you know, you can see now where this is all going. Because this is all the same layer, you know, you can still work around with the rocks and think like, well, you know, I don't like this part of the rock. For instance, it's too smooth, it's too Roly, well, you can just add some more brittle, brittle parts into it, and that is also a thing that I always like about these rocks. You know, you can implement whatever you want in these rocks, but you need to make sure that you're doing it in the correct way, in the correct answer every single time you draw these rocks. But sometimes you cannot see it before you color it, and that makes it very hard sometimes to get things properly set up. And I know, I know that, you know, sometimes, you know, I might be not the very best at such situations, because, you know, I'm trying to do my very best to get get those situations under control. For instance, like, you know, these rocks right here. They need to be, they're supposed to be separated, but, you know, as you can see, they were not separated too much. So, by doing this, we are actually technically working towards an answer towards it. Of course, you know, it looks now like a little bit more brittle, so I think like, mm, yes, alright, there you go, fix that end up, and now I can even say like, well, you know, now I can even use this, and now, there you go, so parts that are a little bit too thick, thickly done, we can lessen things that are too lessened. We can take up. All right, now we are going to be looking forward to doing the coloring again. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to pick up the casual color first, and then we're going to be working towards the other colors that are inside of this brick anyway. There you go. Alright, now we're going to be saving this up, so we're going to screw it over. Come on, come on, there you go. 
please work with me. But yeah, I need to actually update my PC. It's a shame, you know, bad, the bad boy already is like 15 years old, so, uh, you know, upgrading it would not be a very bad idea. Definitely not. But yeah, it isn't, it's a thing that, that needs to be done. Also, what the hell? Why I have this car, I have no idea, but I'm gonna be using it anyway. Because, you know, we can still change it up later. That's the main idea with this. It's always the main idea with all this. Like, you know, we have now the dark color as first color. So it's like, ah, well, it's not the color that we wanted. We actually want to have less of a dark color into it, but we can now change it up. Gonna be lowering the um, amount. You know, we're just gonna be adding some decent coloring to it. So first we're gonna add some decent color to it, and we're gonna be adding some more refined touches to it. Now we're gonna add some fine touches to it. So. Uh, Like that. Now we can add some refined touches to it. And now that is that's more like it. Now we can add some brushes to it so that we can blend the colors within each other so that we don't, you know, have this uh, cartoonish kind of uh, layering. Which you know we were still doing that, but blending it is actually a smart idea. And then we're going to be removing some of the problems that we had. Some of the problem uh, parts right here and there. Like that. That's a problem part. Now you can see if I'm correct. Yes, you can see it. Alright, cool. Alright. And now we can literally add some more darker color to it. It's like, ah yes. It's now back again to black, pure black. Uh, almost, come on. Believe you. There you go. It's just, you know, the color that we need. Like, you know, we can now see like, ah, well, this this is more, much better. This is actually much better than before, because now we can see like, ah, well, this gap right here. There should be some grass right there. Here is no grass needed. Well, there could be some grass right here over there, so there. So, that is uh, a thing. So, should we do it for today? Or should we leave it right now? Nah, we're gonna do it. That's a good idea. I promise to get these rocks done, and I will do my promise to keep up, make sure that I have those rocks done. Hmm, where is it? Where oh where is the platinum grass? That's the rocks. And is this part of grass? Yes, there is. And this is the uh, this is the grass. This is the non-grass. And then I mean, then I need to get this. This and this. Alright, so we need this one. So, we're gonna be drawing some grass. Oh, very spooky. Of course, we're supposed to do it in non terrible colors. Oh wait, I don't have the... alright, uh, fine. <laughs> alright, I pressed way too big. I pressed way too big. I pressed way too big. Alright, so let's go.
Now we're going to pick up the grass. Now that. There you go. That's one. That's two. Oh boy. Right, that is awesome. Now we have that done. We can now add some more color to this. Now we need to get this one done. Now we're going to erase all the colors that we don't want. Because that's the night that is the main problem most likely. All right. That's one done. Cool. And now we need to have the cool color, the, the blue, yellow, green. Alright. Now we're going to be doing this, and we're going to be. Well, you know, it's not necessary, but. Uh, we need to lower it down. Well, that's good enough. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's a lot of color. That was a mistake. God damn it. <sighs> my, 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 my. Why do I always forget this? I have no idea. <laughs> well, you know. Most like it's because of all the stuff I actually had to deal with. Boop, 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 boop. Go. And then boop, 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 boop. boop do, 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 do. And then use the plan tool to get from point A to point B. Alright. I believe I need to erase some of it. Right here. There's no need for it. All right, and now we're gonna save it. I know that the I know that still there are some blurriness parts, but this actually makes it better. So now we can see. Ah, oh, that's 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 doable. Still, you know, there are some areas that I would like to have less influence. So right over here there is a part that I that bothers me dearly. So we're gonna be erasing some uh, grass. Yes. Some grass right there, yes. Now it looks far better far better. And that is all good. Now we're gonna be erasing the the parts that bothers me the most and that is the overlapping grass that is not supposed to be there. Because as you can see there are some grass parts that need to be you know not overlapping that much. For instance here there is a part you know, 
let's use pause. Cool. And that's how you do it. Just casually drawing these grass spots like there is no tomorrow. Honestly, this is. Oh, alright, good. And it's also there. That makes it easier for me. So, yeah, we're gonna be just casually, you know, putting some grass out of it so that you know the grass looks far more better than before. Alright. Uh, it's almost 50 minutes in. Dang. Well, I thought I was done, but the, when, once I'm done with the grass, I will call quits. But taking a good look at it, it is almost done anyway. Now it should be fine, right? Yeah, that's fine. That looks far more better. Seems like I miss some parts, like I need to add some more dark right here, some dark rock here. I need to add some more dark in the grass right here, but uh, that is all. That's all fixable. That's that's nothing compared how much it is actually working. But yeah, it looks it looks fine. It looks fine. It's still you know a far long shot for be from being done, but. It is looking now nice, and uh, once I'm gonna add the shadows and all that stuff to it, it will be looking great. So let's see how it looks in the in the bit in the big of things. Well, that looks great. That looks awesome. That looks like you know a doable grass looking environment. That looks great. All right, so we're actually technically done here, and then we're gonna be moving upwards to here, and once this part is up. Uh, then we're gonna be finally moving to the right side. Uh, to the right side. So uh, yeah, um, I hope you all have enjoyed for today, and uh, thanks all for watching. And uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. Bye.